God. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to our broadcast this morning. This is Pastor Ricardo Finn from FCI Raymond, Newcastle, here in Northern Natal. We want to thank you for joining us this morning for our broadcast. I want to encourage you, get your pen out, get a notebook. Most importantly, get your Bible as we share God's precious word. Let us pray. Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you this morning, O oh God, for yet another glorious opportunity, Lord God, to share your word. According to your word, O oh God, where two or more are gathered in your name, there you are in the midst of them. So, Father, I pray that you will consecrate and hallow, O oh Lord God, this, um, this gathering that we have this morning, Father, even though, Lord, it's via social media and whatever platform, Father, I thank you that you're omnipresent. I thank you, Lord God, that your presence is amongst us, O oh God. So we thank you this morning. And I pray in the name of Jesus that you'll anoint my vocal cords, O oh Lord, to declare your word to your people. I pray that the people of God will be built up, they'll be nourished, they'll be strengthened and encouraged, O oh Lord God, with the word of God, that they will go out, Lord, and do great and mighty exploits for you and for your kingdom. In Jesus' blessed name we pray. God's people said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Well, praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you once again for joining us this morning um, for our broadcast. Hallelujah. And um, as has been mentioned, this is the year 2021, the year of Shaphat, the year of favor, of abundance and overflow. Praise God. Now, I want to share with you this morning on the subject matter of the power of creative thinking. The power of creative thinking. And way in the beginning of the Bible, in Genesis chapter number one, I want you to go there as we're going to share verses 26 and 27, when God created man. Now, the Bible says, Then God said, let us make man in our image. I want you to highlight that. Let us make man in our image, according to our likeness. So number one, you were created in his image. And number two, you were created according to his likeness. Then it goes on to say, let them have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over the cattle, and over all the earth, and over every creeping thing that creeps on the earth. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. So friends, you are somebody important. When God created you and I, he spoke to himself. Yes, you may have been born from, as you know, your biological parents, your biological mom and dad, but they did not give form to you. It is God who formed you in the womb of your mother. It is God who knit you together and put you together in the womb of your mother. And this is the thing. God has created you in his image and according to his likeness. So it doesn't matter what society may say about you or what society or people think about you. The fact and the truth of the matter is that you were created in the image and the likeness of God. So that's the whole thing. God created you to function like him upon the earth. That's God's desire is that we would walk as he walks upon the earth. We would behave as he behaves upon the earth. We would speak as he speaks upon the earth. You are created in the image and the likeness of God. In John's epistle, first, the first epistle of John chapter 4, we find um, the apostle John writes, and he says, as he, Jesus is, so are we in the earth. As he is, so are we. So you are created in his image, and created in his likeness. Hallelujah. Now, creative thinking, we need to understand that when God created you and I, when he created man, the Bible clearly says, as we read now, God spoke to himself. 
So in other words, God saw you long before you were born, long before you were conceived. You were in the mind of God. You were in his mind. Hallelujah. So God, um, he formed you in, the, in his image and according to his likeness. So God creates. And if you've been created according to his likeness, so therefore if he creates, that means you have the ability and the power to create too. Hallelujah. And creative thinking, the definition of creative thinking is the ability to consider anything in a new way. Anything, absolutely anything. So no matter what your circumstances are right now this morning, I want to encourage you this morning to look beyond your circumstances. Don't look at your circumstance, but focus on your mind. Get your mind right. Hallelujah. Get your mind right. Consider the woman in St. Matthew's Gospel, chapter number 9, uh, verses 20 to 21. The Bible says this woman had an issue of blood. She had a 12-year problem. She'd been to every physician she knows. She's, she'd spent all her resources on every uh, physician that she was referred to. So in other words, she spent a lot. A lot of time, a lot of energy, a lot of her resources. And then it got to a point where Jesus was coming by. And this woman pressed against the crowd. She pressed through the crowd. And the Bible says she touched the hem of, her, of his garment. And as soon as she'd done that, immediately, immediately, the issue of blood ceased. Then the Bible goes on to say, for she said within herself, let's go there, Matthew's Gospel chapter 9. She said within herself, I like this, verse 21, for she said to herself, if only I may touch his garment, I shall be made well. So before she even took that step of faith, she had an image in her mind's eye. She saw herself healed. She saw herself restored. She saw herself made whole. And thus, she, she acted on what she could see according to faith, the faith that was in her. Hebrews 11 verse 1 tells us that faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Hallelujah. So this woman, she responded in faith. She didn't see her current circumstance. She looked beyond her current circumstance and she saw with her mind's eye herself being made whole. The Bible tells us in the book of Romans that God is he who calls those things that be not as though they were. He calls those things that be not as though they were. Praise God. Now, the, the, the dictionary describes um, imagination as thus. So that's one of the powerful things that God has given us, is the power of the mind, the power of imagination. And the dictionary describes imagination as this. It says, it is the faculty or action of forming new ideas or images or concepts of external objects not present to the senses. It is the ability to form a new idea, a new image, or a new concept of external objects. In other words, things that your senses cannot see, cannot hear, cannot touch. That's what imagination is. So it is very, very similar to faith. Faith looks beyond what now is and sees that which is to be. Hallelujah. It is the ability of the mind to be creative or resourceful. Wow. That's what the imagination is. The ability of the mind 
to be creative and resourceful. In other words, you draw from the resources of your mind. That's how you got to get your mind right. Romans 12 verse 2. Do not be conformed to the world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. In other words, be careful of what you feed your mind with. Because whatever you're feeding your mind with, your mind becomes your words. Your words become your action. Your actions become your habit and it becomes your character. And thus you find you become the sum total of your mind and your words. Praise God. Hallelujah. The power of life and death, the Bible says, is in the mouth. It's in the tongue. And I'm speaking to you here about getting your mind right. So this year, 2021, purpose to get your mind right. Hallelujah. So that is where we derive the word image from, from imagination. From imagination. That is where the word image is derived from. Praise God. So this woman with the issue of blood, she had what I like to call a faith image about herself. And that's what I, what, that's what I want to encourage you to have this year, is a faith image. In other words, a word image, because faith comes by the word of God. The more you feed your spirit man with the word of God, the more your mind will be renewed and shaped and molded. And then you'll find all of a sudden your words will change. Your actions will change. You'll become audacious just like that woman. And you'll do great exploits for the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise God. The, the, the mind, the uh, sorry, imagination is the workshop of the mind. That is where you find whatever is supposed to happen in your life. You find you create it actually by your thoughts. So you've got to renew your thoughts. Once your thought life is right, you'll find that your life is right. Your life gets right. Praise God. So don't see what you see with your natural eye. I want to just share two more scriptures with you. The first one is found in the book of Judges, chapter number 16. And it's the account of Samson. Now Samson, the Bible says that he married Delilah and Delilah, uh, Delilah then... Um, discovered the secret of his strength and she gave that information over to the Philistines and they came in verse 21 the Bible says the Philistines then came and they took him and put out his eyes in other words they took his sight so he couldn't see and they brought him down to Gaza they bound him with bronze fetters and he became a grinder in the prison now we find in verse 28 there was some type of party that took place and they were about to offer an offering unto their God, Dagon. So when they had drunk and they were merry, they called out Samson from the prison to have him entertain them. And they were mocking him and saying all types of stuff to him. And then verse 28 says this, um, Then Samson called to the Lord. Samson first, he called, he asked one of the people nearby to take him to the two pillars of that, of that temple, the two pillars which supported that temple. And they took him there. So Samson stretched out his hands towards those pillars. Then the Bible says, then Samson called to the Lord saying, O Lord God, remember me, I pray. Strengthen me. I pray just this once, O oh God, that I, I want you to highlight this, that I may with one blow take vengeance on the Philistines for my two eyes. And Samson took hold of the two middle pillars which supported the temple and braced, him, and braced himself against them, one on his right and one on the left. Then Samson said, let me die with the Philistines. And he pushed with all his might. And the temple fell on the lords and all the people who were in it. So the dead that he killed, watch, the dead that he killed at his death were more than he had killed in his lifetime. 
So my word to you this morning is that don't consider your circumstances. Samson saw himself receiving his strength. He saw him, his strength being renewed, being restored. He saw himself pushing those pillars. And all of a sudden, everything gave way and the temple collapsed. So that's what I'm trying to get across to you this morning is that if you can get your thinking right, you will, you will get rid of every ceiling and every wall of limitation or every stumbling block that the enemy has brought your way to try and keep you bound from breaking into the new that God has for you. Hallelujah. So that is what Samson says, just this once, give me back my strength so I can take vengeance for my for my two eyes. Perhaps there are things that have happened in your life, many things that have happened that have probably got you to a place where you believe that there is no way out. Let me tell you, there is a way out and the way out is with the word of God. So take up the word of God today. Be encouraged today. Set your eyes on the word of God. Set your mind on the word of God and begin to see, see what God sees and not what you see. And very often, God will give you an idea. You're probably watching me right now. And you have an idea. And God has given you this idea. But you think to yourself, it's impossible for this to happen. Because this idea, this thing is too big. It's bigger than me. Let me tell you something, friend. God, when God calls you, He always calls you to give you something bigger than where you're at. He doesn't give you something that's equivalent to where you're at. Look at... Uh, first Chronicles, this is the last scripture that I'm sharing with you. First Chronicles chap uh, chapter 28, David speaking to his son Solomon in verse 9. He says, as for you, my son Solomon, know the God of your father. In other words, he's telling him, acquaint yourself with the God I serve and serve him with number one, a loyal heart and with a willing mind. You've got, to, you've got to surrender your will, surrender your mind to the will of God for your life. Surrender yourself to God because God is bigger than where you're at and the idea he's given you is bigger than where you're at. So begin to focus on what God sees and not what you see. For the Lord searches all hearts and understands all the intents of the thoughts. If you seek him, he'll be found by you. But if you forsake him, he will cast you off forever. Consider now, for the Lord, watch it, the Lord has chosen you to build a house for the sanctuary. Be strong and do it. What has God called you to build? What has God called you to do? Begin to see yourself doing what God has called you to do. Hallelujah. The woman with the issue of blood, she saw herself completely healed. Samson saw himself receiving his strength and pushing against those pillars. He saw himself slaying all the Philistines, slaying that limitation that was limiting his fellow Israelites. So that's my word of encouragement to you this morning, is to see those things which be not as though they were. And begin to call them forth. Hallelujah. So this year, 2021, don't focus on the old, but focus on the new. Praise God. Because you have creative power and God has given you all the resources in his word to change your situation. Your circumstance can change. Many times you find many people, especially when it comes to, um, you know, the things of God. Perhaps, you know, um, you find many people, as an example, um, they would look and they'll say, yeah, one day when I do this, I'll do that. Stop that one day thing. Stop that. Because you're focusing one day, you keep delaying. Begin to see yourself already doing it. As you begin to see yourself already doing it, you'll find all of a sudden, you'll start stepping out in faith. You could be sick. See yourself being healed. You could be single and you're seeking a spouse. See yourself 
with the right spouse. See yourself being brought the right spouse. God will bring the right spouse to you. Hallelujah. You could even be probably in your heart, your greatest desire is to do something for God. Begin to see yourself doing it. Stop focusing on one day. Yeah, one day when I get this, I'll do that. One day when I get this, I'll do that. No, forget about the one day now. And begin to see your situation changed. Begin to see what God sees considering your circumstance. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Well, I pray and I trust that you've been blessed by this broadcast this morning. And I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. And um, before we close, I'd just like, to, uh, like us to close in a word of prayer as I release the final blessing. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father, we thank you this morning, Father, for this time of fellowship that we had. I thank you for all our viewers out there, all our partners and friends. I pray that you will bless them. I pray that you prosper them, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. I pray that this will be indeed a fruitful year for your people. May they begin to see what you see. May they begin to say what you say and not what circumstances are dictating to them. I pray this in the name of Jesus. I thank you now, O oh Lord God. May the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you both now and forevermore in Jesus' wonderful name. And the people of God said, Amen, Amen, and Amen. Well, praise God. Thank you so much for joining us. This is Pastor Ricardo signing off and saying, God bless you. Uh, thank you. And we pray that you will have a fruitful week ahead. We love you very much and we pray for you daily. <music>